That is time for Friday Sports Report. And who else to join us but, of course, Sunny Young with the Sunny Side of Sports with the latest. Hi, Sunny. Hi, Jimmy. Hello, Vincent. And sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. One of the most popular sporting events here in the USA, the Men's College Basketball Championship Tournament, tipped off this week at arenas across the country. The single elimination tournament will culminate April 8th when the championship game is played in Atlanta, Georgia. One of the top-seeded teams is Indiana University, led by star guard Victor Oladipo. Victor was born here in the Washington area, but his mother is from Nigeria and his father is from Sierra Leone. With his athleticism and explosive jumping ability, Oladipo has been compared with basketball great Michael Jordan. The junior guard has made big improvement in his overall game this season. Sporting News Magazine recently named Victor the Men's College Basketball Player of the Year. Oladipo and the Hoosiers of Indiana will play their first game in the tournament later Friday against James Madison University of Virginia. And among those picking Victor Oladipo and Indiana to win the national title is none other than President Obama. In pro basketball, the Miami Heat remains red hot. The defending National Basketball Association champions will host the Detroit Pistons later Friday night, aiming for their 25th consecutive victory. Miami is chasing the NBA's all-time record of 33 consecutive victories set by the 1971-72 Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers squad went on to win the NBA title more than 40 years ago and was led by star guard Jerry West and the late great Wilt Chamberlain. Miami's two big stars are LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, who have been sensational during the streak. Finally, with the recent election of Pope Francis, his favorite football club in Argentina is getting a lot of attention. San Lorenzo, which is based in Buenos Aires, sported a picture of Pope Francis on their red and blue striped jerseys to mark his election at the Vatican. Pope Francis has been a lifelong fan of the club since childhood, uh, way back when. And with that, I'm VOA's Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports.